Well, good evening. Uh, so I've just uh, done a rather large upgrade to my system and I wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, I have added a Tesla K80. The reason I've done that is that uh, they're very cheap. They're uh, between $100 and $200. I think you probably get them for around $130 on eBay. And uh, I think this is because the uh, places that sell uh, time on, on, uh, uh, in the cloud uh, are getting rid of these cards now. And so they're fairly cheap. And they're, they're good cards. They're, uh, they're a bit slow, but they have 24 gigabytes of RAM, the VRAM. So they can handle very large models, uh, both for training and for inference. They're a bit slow compared to the new cards, but it show me a new card that you can get for $100 or $130 that has 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, so the thing is, there's some problems with these cards. Uh, first of all, you have to go into the BIOS and you have to set something called above 4G decoding, that you have to enable that. So no big deal, you just go in and do that. On my motherboard, it is in the IO ports section. And then after you do that, you also have to figure out some kind of a cooling system for the card. And what I've done here is twofold. I have taken an old piece of medical equipment, and uh, this is called a CPAP, and it's blowing air uh, into the card. Uh, let's see. If I'm not really showing it to you, am I? I'm having a bit of trouble. Ah, here we go. So here's the hose coming in here, blowing into the card. And then uh, on the outside here, let me just come over here for a second and get a flashlight. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see this very well. Over here, there is an external fan that's been attached with some tape. This a USB fan doesn't work very well. Uh, I'm going to be replacing this with a 12 volt fan that blows a lot harder. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but there's also a 750 watt power supply that's been added. And the reason that's been added is this uh, Tesla card takes 300 watts to run. So it's, a, it's an energy pig uh, compared to the new cards. So my 1050 Ti, for example, uh, has a, a max TDP, I think it's called, of 75 watts. So uh, it's not a very efficient card. It's going to probably cost me a bunch of money in electricity to to use it, but uh, hopefully I won't use it for more than a year, and then I'll be able to get a decent GPU. Uh, now this card has to sit in the 16 times PCIe slot, which meant that I had to move my 1050 Ti down to the 8 times slot. And I was afraid it wasn't going to run, but it seems to be running okay. Uh, I'm not sure that the picture is quite as good as it had been, uh, but I may be able to do some work on that. I have not gone into my video settings yet. So I may be able to improve that somewhat. Uh, time will tell. Uh, the main thing is it's working. And I thought it might be a problem because this is a Ryzen 5 3600 CPU and therefore does not have any onboard video. This is not an APU, it's a CPU. So it was very important that that uh, second video card be able to work. The Tesla TPU does not have any video ports on it. It's not for video. It's for uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning. Uh, and that's, that's all it's for. So I had to buy a new power supply and I got a 750 watt because I had a, a 450 watt power supply in here beforehand and that, that ran fine. And I knew I was going to be drawing 300 watts more, potentially. 
So uh, uh, this, this should work fine. And so far, so good. So let's see what we can do with it. Go back here to the desktop. And then let's switch over here. And I'm in the uh, Uparl AI directory. And let me just pull up this guy here. Because what I want to do is I want to tr start training this model. And I want to see what happens to my, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to export my uh, two K80 cards. Now, what do I mean by that? What do I mean by two K80 cards? Uh, if I do an NVIDIA dash SMI, you're going to see here that I have the GeForce 1050 Ti card and two Tesla K80s. Now, I don't have two Tesla, uh, Tesla K80s. I only have the one card in there. But that card has two TPUs on it. Each one has uh, 12 gigabytes of memory. So they show up as two cards in here. So I have card zero, I have card one, and card two. And what I'm going to do is that uh, export CUDA visible devices equals to one uh, and two. I don't want my 1050 Ti being used for CUDA. So once I do this, uh, then when I CD into my parlay directory where I am now, DuryNV automatically switches me into the right Conda environment. And uh, now I am able to run this command. Let's copy this and paste it. And because this is training a model, it should be fairly, uh, it should use a lot of resources on my, uh, all right, so I'm gonna run nvtop here. This is a command that can be installed with sudo apt install. And we can see right off here that uh, the TI, uh, the 1050 Ti is using about two gigabytes of memory and device one well I guess right now it's not doing any uh, it's not using the TPUs right now it's doing other things I guess it's downloading see it's downloading uh, information from Twitter, it's building a dictionary. So this is just using the CPU at the moment. So it's not, it's not yet stressing the TPUs, but it will. And uh, when it does, we'll be able to see if my cooling solution is working sufficiently. And it might not be. These cards get very hot, and they re they require a good cooling solution. And that fan, that five volt fan, sucks. It, I can barely feel feel it moving any air, and it's set to high. So uh, hopefully, the twelve volt fan will do a much better job. Hopefully, this is not going to take too long. And we'll get to the training part where it's actually loading the model and then uh, updating it. So you can see the total parameters, 111 million total parameters in this model. So it's a big model. And so now we're loading train.txt. So I wonder now if this is being loaded onto the, uh, the TPU. And this is only using one gig here, 0.9 gigs. So I don't think it's I don't think it's doing much of anything right now. Well, no, it started up here. You can see that uh, B 
These GPUs are now engaged. We can see here that the wattage has risen. This is up to 58 watts. It was down low like this. This one is 29. So it bumped up for a little while and the uh, the temperature went up to 44 degrees C. So let's see what this is doing now. So something went wrong here. So it looks like it was trying to use device zero. And we don't want to use device zero. We only want to use devices one and two. Let's try this again. And there we go. The GPUs are engaged. Disengaged. Let's see if we had a problem. And we had another problem. CUDA error. The launch timed out and was terminated. Let's see if we can find out anything about this. All right, so it looks as though I'm doing the right thing, but I also need to make sure that my uh, GPU is selected for the X display. So I'm going to see, have to see how to do that. Anyway, uh, this will give you an idea of uh, what I've done for my system and how you might uh, try to do the same thing. I have a feeling that this cooling solution is going to be okay until I get the faster fan. Uh, but if not, I'll just have to wait until the faster fan arrives. Uh, anyway, I thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed uh, some of this and maybe even learned something. All right, thank you very much.